so in almost three years that i have been on youtube uh, this is going to be the most difficult video that i have ever filmed i have been planning to film this video since two months now and today finally i gathered the courage to sit down and tell you guys that i quit my job i quit my job after three years of working with no plans at least none of getting another one if you all didn't know i worked as a software engineer i did my btech and then i joined an mnc i was placed on campus so after my college only i had been working it has been more than three years that i have been a software engineer but finally i quit that job and it wasn't an easy decision and definitely not an overnight decision uh, there were a lot of reasons and a lot of factors that led me here. I didn't know it would be this difficult but there I just said it out loud and I really really feel such a relief right now. I would not be lying if I said that I never loved my job. I never wanted to be the corporate girly. I just could not see myself doing that but I still did start and after I started it was a little difficult to get out of it because number one. I had a stable source of income and trust me once you have that stable source of income it is not easy to quit it is not easy to let go of that source of income because once you have that taste of financial independence the mere thought of leaving that just is terrifying second because I was like a software engineer and in this society uh, it is a well respected job a girl that did her BTEC then got placed as a software engineer I was working with a good company so I was well respected and uh, you know valued in the society and I kind of started liking that validation I never felt that this would be a factor that would uh, you know stop or delay me from taking any decision but it kind of did and apart from these two factors that job wasn't just three to four years of my life it was literally my entire life my entire 24 years I learned and I did whatever I did to be where I was at like I did schooling then I did my graduation and then I got that job so the entire 24 years whatever I did the result of everything was that job so I did not know any other way around I am being very honest I did not know any other way around because that is all that I learned that is all that I knew so all of these factors made it very very difficult for me to leave that job even though I hated that job since the very first day I never wanted to do the job and then uh, I just didn't have the courage to leave it once I was in it so it has been two months now almost two months that I don't have a job and I'm not looking for another one so this was to happen sometime but I did not know that it will be this difficult to accept it and to uh, speak about it in front of anyone let alone make a video about it I did not know it would be this difficult and right now I have all my notes here so that I know what I have to speak because I my mind is just not working because this is the first time I'm speaking about this so openly I haven't told anyone none of my relatives my friends nobody knows about this maybe I just felt that people would judge me or I would you know lose that value and that validation because uh, the few people that know not everybody is happy with the decision and not everybody thinks that this is the wise decision but I'm making this video because I want to share it with you guys so that in my future videos if ever we stumble upon this topic or if I come across this question from anyone I would be okay and I would be confident to accept it finally that yes I have made this decision to switch my career paths so I've always wanted to do something that I loved that I enjoyed and uh, something uh, that people would know me for I have always been this creative kid Bachpan say like I was good at academics no doubt but I always had this creativity ka kida inside of me and I loved uh, you know all of that arts crafts painting cooking baking you just name it and I used to do everything so I always wanted to do something on those lines the traditional graduation post graduation working in a MNC till your retirement that 
route the traditional route did not seem fit for my goals and my visions the way i looked at life that wasn't something i wanted for myself and hence i always had a side hustle like literally now that i think of it i always had a side hustle when i was in school i used to paint and do all these arts and crafts or obviously just at home when i got into my graduation i made a cooking blog and an instagram page i had a website wherein i used to post recipes and i used to enjoy doing it so much and once i started my job that is when i started this youtube channel so now that i think of it i have always had that side hustle and somehow everybody around me everybody who was important enough to you know consider their opinions while making my decision everybody somehow convinced me that all these things were meant to be on the side and i was convinced that yes all these things are to be a side hustle and not your main thing i always had so much on my plate as i just said like every time i was never that person who was doing one thing at a time never i did not realize that every freaking time i was exhausted and burnt out like i never had time for myself and it was always one work or the other like either it was college work or my blog work then i started job it was either office work or my content work like every time i was so exhausted i never had weekdays and weekends i always had work that wasn't even the difficult part i love to work like i am someone who would rather uh, prefer to do something than just sit idle so that wasn't the main problem the main problem was that even though i was working the entire time most of the chunk of that time went into doing something that i did not even like and that is what used to bother me so much and i wasn't even able to share it properly with anyone because i don't know i think now that everything has happened now i am able to figure what was happening i was so frustrated and irritated all the time and this work thing was affecting everything in my life my personal relationships my friendships everything was being affected because I, my mind was just very very caught up with all of this chaos that was going on on the work part of my life i had so much to do that at a point it just got confusing i was just not able to figure out what all i have to do and how i am going to do all of that i had so much work and so little time those who know me those who have spent time with me have seen me say this a lot of times that sometimes i feel that even 24 hours feel less in a day after a point i used to get so exhausted and burnt out that i just used to leave everything and do nothing and i used to just lay on the bed and again that used to give me so such a huge amount of guilt that i'm not doing anything and i have so much work everything just got very very confusing i don't know if i'm making sense right now but i just want to pour my heart out so that it marks as a fresh beginning to my journey after this video uh, in covid i was uh, having work from home it was still manageable but last year when uh, my office opened reopened first time i uh, started going to office physically one to two weeks or maybe not even that long i think 5 10 days down the line going to the office i was convinced that i will quit and i have to quit i was convinced but i did not have the courage again i mentioned the reasons earlier so i just left it uh, you know to the universe to the gods and i initially i was trying to switch like after that two year mark i was trying to switch i applied for jobs i got two offers but i really don't know why i did not take them up and uh, i just said that uh, you know i look for something better inside of me i knew that i did not want to get myself too involved in all of this corporate world uh switching getting a better package i did not want to um uh, get too involved that it would get even more difficult for me to quit the content creation started paying but the amount wasn't enough 
for me to quit because it was not enough for me to uh, you know sustain my financial independence that i had gotten and also i remember around uh, this time last year my company was laying people off uh, people who were on bench the company was laying them off and that was the first time i got to know about any of this i had no clue about the bench uh, and the laying off uh, policy i had no idea about this i did not know this happens on the inside but once i got to know that once i saw that part of the corporate world i really started wishing that you know i get laid off <laughs> like it really honestly i used to say this to everyone in office also that i really wish that they just lay me off because that seemed like the only possible way for me to get out of that mess because i after a point i just knew that i would not have the courage to resign to quit because it was just too much and i wasn't financially stable with this other work so i just wanted something to happen on its own so that i just get out of the that mess and i did not know that it would happen so i was on bench uh, for a while and uh, like everyone i was looking for uh, you know job opportunities for a slight amount of time because everyone was doing that so i started doing that too but then i just stopped after a while i stopped and i had this moment of reflection and i realized that no that is not what i want to do it is you know happening let it happen uh, like i just see whatever happens there i started focusing on my content it was working i stopped looking for any other job opportunities i was still on bench and i knew that if uh, things continued the way they were i would be you know laid off because i wasn't looking for any other opportunities and uh, this is uh, apparently the policy i knew for a while that it would happen so rather than looking for job opportunities which would have been the uh, practical way to go about it rather than doing that i took time to prepare myself mentally and my family mentally that this is going to happen we were all mentally prepared e way before this happened we were all prepared that okay this would happen sometime in the future we did not know how long it would take but we knew that this was going to happen and uh, we knew that i did not have the courage to resign so we were just waiting for the, that day to happen but we did not know that it wouldn't be that easy jitna hum soch rahe the it wasn't that easy so two months back it actually happened and thankfully i was mentally prepared for it so it wasn't that difficult uh, you know mentally but it wasn't as easy as i thought it wasn't everything changed in a moment like it felt like there was a snap and my life changed completely the routine the comfort of a monthly salary nothing was there i was clueless i was lost i had no idea what to do how to do i was just lost i went into a zone of complete darkness and i cut myself off from everyone like at this point i don't have anyone my fault but that is just what i do uh let's leave that but i just went into this complete dark zone and i did not know what to do with life my life felt purposeless meaningless and i was just i didn't know what to do honestly i matlab when i was thinking about this to happen i thought the next day i would get into this boss lady mode and doing uh, things and shaping my career doing this doing that but when the reality actually hit me it wasn't the fairy world that i had imagined it to be it was mentally draining at this moment i accept that i was simply terrified and i still am to be honest for the first one month every day was a battle i struggled to get out of bed i struggled to do the basic things the basic everyday routine that you follow i struggled to do that because i did not feel like having a reason to wake up every day and even though i had something planned out for myself you know that financial independence that financial freedom that i had 
was gone trust me it is difficult like if you have been in that spot i feel what you felt it got better after a point but it is still not easy for me i am still powering through every day this video was one speed breaker that i was dreading since two months every single day i have thought of making this video because i just wanted to get it out of myself and to get it out there so that i don't know so that i accept it that that was in the past and i have made this decision that i need to follow and i did not know that it would be this difficult but okay it is and uh, i'm ready to take on the challenge so finally now that you guys know i don't have a job i'm not working as a software engineer anymore i am a full time content creator now it feels surreal saying that like i literally manifested this theek hai thoda sa difficult tha but theek hai i am a full time content creator now i have a lot of plans going ahead i am simply terrified to say the least but a little excited also i'm trying to figure out one day at a time i'm not thinking about anything in the future because god nothing goes according to your plan so just stick to today and let's see what happens tomorrow that is what i am following at least i don't know if i would say that i wouldn't have wanted it any other way i don't know about that but theek hai whatever happened in life i learned a lot from every phase and the one thing that i really want to say to everyone and to myself as well every freaking thing is hard nothing is easy every freaking thing is hard you need to choose your hard you need to listen to your gut feeling your intuitions and take that big decision without any regrets because if you don't do it today tomorrow you will regret it that what if that what if will just ruin you like literally wo what if wala question once that enters the life it just is very messed up do that thing for yourself don't think about what others will think what others would say if that seems right by you do it you'll either succeed or you'll learn there's nothing like failure my journey definitely has been very confusing just like this video and it has been all over the place but as i said i learned a lot in the process i just hope that uh, going forward i'm able to make better and quicker decisions god bless me let's see where life goes wish me luck in the comments that was all for today's video i'll see you super super soon in my next video till then stay safe stay healthy bye bye